1964, the year of the mod. As the man said, anything can happen in the next half hour, and it just has. The mods, of course, have been going for years and years, but 1964 really was their big year. Remember all the uh, nasty riots on Bank Holiday Mondays? It wasn't safe to go down to the beach. Well, the mods are still alive and well in 1983, as you can see from uh, these lads and lasses gathered here on their Vespers and Lambrettas. Can I just have a word with my, my chauffeur here? What do you normally do for a living? Uh, work in a restaurant. Now, why have you picked up on the mod scene as the thing to follow? Why not New Romantics or something else? Well, the music's good. I like the address and everything like that. Clubs are good and all. It mates. Do you have problems getting hold of the clothes? Oh, yeah. You have to go around and, like, clothes shops and things like that. Oh, clothes shops. <laughs> Antique shops, yeah. <laughs> Oxfam. <laughs> Let's have a word with some of the girls. If I can just get off this scooter and move over here. Ugh. I certainly couldn't get off the pillions very well, which was probably one of the ideas of having a scooter, to keep your girl trapped on the back. What do you normally do? I'm a student nurse. Do you uh, wear your mod clothes to the ward? I it very much. <laughs> Are there many girls who drive scooters? It seems to be all guys driving these. Yeah, there is quite a few, but the scooters take quite a handling. I think you've got to be, have a bit of muscle to haul them up, really. <laughs> How many of the mods here were born in 1964? Put your hands up. Look at this. All of them approaching 19 years old. The year of the mod was 1964.